Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me. This is Marilyn Gale. Today, I'm bringing you a story from The Hollywood Reporter regarding Jesse Smollett. He has been indicted on 16 felony counts by Chicago Grand Jury. Let me just read you quickly um, the article. The Empire actor has been accused of faking a hate crime. The Chicago Grand Jury on Friday today the 7th, the 8th of March, indicted Empire actor Jesse Smullett on 16 felony counts for allegedly lying to the police about a su- supposed hate crime attack. A request for more information from the Cook County State's Attorney Office was not immediately returned, but the indictment reads, in part, Jesse Smullett, Smollett, knew that at the time there was no reasonable ground for believing that such offenses has been committed, according to sections cited by CBS Chicago News. A request for a comment from Smullett's attorney was not immediately returned. The actor was charged last month with felony disorderly conduct conduct and released on a $100,000 bail. The actor reported in late January that he had been viciously attacked by two men who yelled pro Trump Donald who yelled pro Trump remarks mixed with racist and homophobic language. See, I stumbled on Trump because I usually call him 45. Sorry guys. Chicago detectives later determined that the Empire actor allegedly set up the highly publicized attack to further his career. Smollett was subsequently arrested and charged with a felony in the case. Smollett and his attorneys maintain the actor has anything to do with the assault other than being the victim of a hate crime. According to police, two Brothers helped Smollett orchestrate the faux assault and are now working with detectives to build the department's case against the actor. Smollett did one interview with Good Morning America's Robert Robin Roberts after the assault report, but has since gone off the radar, only speaking through his attorneys. The actor is due back in court from the uh, disorderly conduct charge on March 14th. In another aspect of the case, Chicago police has opened an internal investigation to determine who leaked the information about the Smollett case. The department confirmed to the Hollywood Reporter on Friday. I would like to point out that a lot of the information out there was inaccurate and there was numerous agencies involved in this investigation. Sergeant uh, Rico Alioto said, what it, I, I think I tore that name up, but anyway, said in a statement to um, the Hollywood Reporter, as a standard procedure when there are Allegations of information being leaked and internal investigation has been open and we are also looking at our vulnerabilities. And uh, that looks like that's the end of the article. So I wanted to bring that to you because, uh, you know, uh, he has been indicted. Personally, I think they're going to try to throw the book at him if he is found guilty uh, to make an example of him. I don't know that, but that's just a feeling they're going to try to, you know, just just uh, throw him under the bus, under the train, under the car, anything that could run him over. But um, we'll see what happens with that. Do I think that he staged everything i did not at first you guys know i've said it many times uh in my uh, podcast that i did not think jesse did this but and i would have to hear him say it however there's so much overwhelming things that come out jesse i am sorry that you look guilty to me however i don't think this is something that he should spend many years in jail. I think he should pay. Um, I think he should, uh, you know, for all the the time that was spent on investigations, on police work. And, uh, you know, I know, and and, and I'm not fond of Chicago police. I come from Chicago. I'm not fond of Chicago police. So don't get that impression what I'm saying. But um, 
sometimes the police presence in, in going around town and being uh, sent out on calls can possibly save someone's life uh, if, you know, if the, if the cops are doing what they're supposed to do, I'll put it that way. But he has to, you know, something has been done. Um, something has to be done about, you know, him, him uh, staging that. Um, and he has not been convicted yet. So, well, he has not been convicted. So it's, it's still alleged, but he's been indicted. He's been in, indicted. Uh, I, I think the chief of police, uh, he, he, it appeared to me, my opinion, like he took all of this personally as far as, uh, the manpower and everything. Um, and some of us took it personally because, you know, this is to me personally, it, it just is something that 45 can use now and other white supremacists can use now um, when something happened. And it's hard enough living in Chicago. It is hard enough to be heard uh, by the police when you're innocent. And now, you know, in the back of their mind, I could just see them saying, yeah, you just as innocent as Jesse is. So, you know, that's, that's the reason why I took it personal because it's going to, you know, real victims are going to get the side eye, um, from law enforcement. And, um, you know, I, I just don't like that part of it. Anyway, I'm going to end it now. Read the article I'm going to attach, uh, in its entirety and I will, um, in this now, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that notification bell and I will see you soon. Have a good weekend and good night.